Hello, you guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing awesome and amazing. Because basically, we're going to get right into it. You know your story. Leave it where it be if it's not for you, okay? Thank you guys for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes, and all that good stuff. You guys are greatly appreciated. This smoke is really smoking. Oh, because somebody trying to um block a relationship. Somebody know you're coming into union here. So I'm getting like somebody could be trying to block a relationship or somebody want somebody to be like um stuck when it comes to partnering up with someone. We got four twenty-nine could be significant. Uh Tyrus could be significant. I'm getting um well. Wow. Okay, uh, we got a main female courtship. Then coughing is popping up. So there's a main female that someone is courting or someone wants to court. Someone, somebody wants this to come to an end here. Yeah, somebody could be writing petitions. Um, yeah, that's the truth. There's a message here for someone or some truth is coming out. Take care of resume. They don't like it. You telling the truth, or somebody thinks somebody is the truth here? Yeah. The truth is, somebody's being childish when it comes to this privileged lady. Seven eighteen, two thousand twelve could be significant. July the eighteenth or July the twelfth could be significant. Uh, somebody could be a Cancer or a Leo. I'm hearing um. Detroit, seven mile, seven mile, somebody with the extra mile, eight mile, is it a 12 mile, I don't know, something about the interstate, 75, somebody pay somebody, somebody could get a money transfer, because they were being childish, they won't, um, I don't know, they don't want somebody to see somebody, uh, I-75 and I-95 could be significant. That's what I'm getting. Or somebody could be born between the years of 75 and 95. Take it out of resume. Um, I mean, uh, is it something? Uh, Michelle Lay or Michelle or Michael? I mean, Eminem. Um, uh, what's the song? There's something in my heart. Something in my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing that song. <clears throat> Y'all school, excuse my voice. <laughs> it's early. Um, yeah, somebody. Something about the 12th. Somebody did this on the 7th. They say about a 12th. It's like, oh, uh, yeah, somebody's doing this like before Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day could be significant. I was supposed to say Vanessa. Valentine's Day could be significant. Something about, um, somebody may find out that, like, or in the past, maybe 2012, I don't know, in the past, somebody could have bought, like, the same gifts for two different women. And if this happened in the past, like when you were pregnant, somebody got a message about you. When somebody found out about you, you were pregnant and you were going to be this privileged lady is what I'm getting. And your person could have been dating someone else and y'all could have got like, he could have bought y'all like the same gifts on Valentine's Day or something. This could be the same person that's uh, attacking you, that's been attacking you. Doing some type of glamour spell, or or that's a situation, something like that. This could be happening now. So they got resume, but um, somebody had fun Friday. Somebody could have been doing some spell work on Friday, or somebody just had a good time Friday. Take out resume. Somebody had drinks. Uh, somebody feels inadequate. Michelle also means like you got psychic powers. You're close to God or something like that. I'm getting Michael Vick. 
Somebody, it could be somebody at the Super Bowl or dogs. Take it how it resonated. Somebody felt dogged. I don't know. Uh, because they thought that, you know, when they could have expressed themselves to somebody, but the person still went for someone else and that triggered someone to attack someone. Somebody's trying to literally like make somebody. I'm getting like be removed or destroyed or destroy everything for you. you want to like do away with you completely or some shit. Somebody could have used like herbs. I mean baneful herbs. To make I don't know something be destructive trying to destroy something for you or damage you make you be like damaged goods somebody wants somebody to look at you as like average ordinary or this person look at you as average ordinary um you know forgettable plain you know a dime a dozen I don't know or that's how they could have treated this person and this person could be projecting those feelings onto you but somebody's like unimpressed by you and they're like you chose that person and you know, they're trying to say, like, eh, you know, that person plain or something like that. But this person is like an essence thief. They've been stealing your essence is what I'm getting. Like using some type of herbs or mirror magic or some shit. Like to remove or destroy all traces of you, collective. They don't want this person to come towards you is what I'm getting. Like, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. Who was doing all this? Somebody could have paid somebody. To like do a transfer spell or some shit. Somebody could have tra look. I'm telling you the thief. Didn't I say the essence thief? Look, I'm telling you, did some work. So this main male, well, look at this main female is like regular plain, you know, poor. You ain't got shit. I don't know. Yeah, look, the thief sent them, 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 them uh, evil arrows to cause chaos and confusion because this mask can hold. This my female in high honor. Yeah, so somebody traveled or they transferred money to someone. I'm getting from North Carolina or South Carolina to Maryland. And somebody could be like like or or they sent it to two different people. Take it how it resonate. And then, I mean, like, I-95 and I-75. Detroit, is. I think that's I-75. I'm not even sure. I don't know. I, ain't, I don't know. Yeah, because, look, the privileged lady is held in high honor. And somebody wants this emperor to go in a different direction, away from this person. So somebody working hard, boy. They working hard. They working hard. 10, 12, that's 22, 22, 22, 22, 22 could be significant, 22, 22, that's 44 plus 35, that's 79, somebody could be born in 79, 79, mm-hmm, yeah, then we got nine here, yeah, they want to change, look, yeah, man, they done got this altar worker to uh, change somebody's message, the way that somebody sees somebody. Yeah, they were concerned. They got something on their heart. There's something in my heart. They were trying to change somebody's love for someone. Somebody got a love spell done, a glamour spell, a beauty spell, something like that. Yeah, because they were expecting this with the man to go towards them. Look, they playing with somebody's thoughts. They thought this with the man loved them. Mm -hmm, look, told you. They they contracted somebody to do a love spell. Look, they contracted somebody to do a love spell. They paid somebody. They could even be doing like mental magic on somebody to confuse somebody or make you um, make bad decisions when it comes to uh, like, yeah, your, your body, yo. Your, I'm getting like, this is your heart. This is your body. Because they want somebody to look at you as like plain average, you know, regular. I don't know. They could even be trying to make you overeat, overindulge in things. Make you overweight. So this person will look at you different. Yeah, 
hell, man. So somebody is attacking your house to get your essence, attacking your vessel, still your essence, trying to. Yeah, look, man. <laughs> the false person is trying to steal your gift, your essence, your energy, because they want some support from this wealthy man. Like, who got time to do all this shit, man? Who got time to do this? And it's, it's like old. It's like somebody got some old ass beef or vendetta against you. Somebody could be a beautician. Somebody, somebody could be self-employed. Somebody is reflecting on old self. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, I was looking at some videos of me. Probably, I don't know when. It was. It had to be at least like six, seven years ago. When I tell you, I look totally different. I, I was like unrecognizable. I didn't even know. Like I looked the way I look. I didn't know I. I had act like that. It was like I was angry. It's like somebody wants you to be back in that energy. Somebody could be reflecting. I'm doing doing oh um I don't know. Somebody's doing mirror magic trying to project. They want you to be like how you used to be because they probably used to could attack you then. Yeah, it looked like I was under some type of attack and I just wasn't woke. I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? But I'm getting like somebody show uh, your vibration. You've raised your vibration. Yeah, somebody could be feeling lost, confused, uncomfortable. Okay, like, yeah, damn. So you raised your vibration, but in the past you could have been lost, confused, uncomfortable with yourself because I most definitely was overweight then. I was like, I didn't even know I was that fucking big. Like, I was under some type of glamour. I didn't even know I was that big, man. I looked like I was about six, seven months pregnant. Like, wow. Somebody wants you to be in that energy so they can attack you or so people won't look at you like, um, as a, as attractive or something, but you could tell me I wasn't, you know, the shit anyway. I ain't give, I, like I said, I didn't know I was that big, but, or I didn't know I was in that energy, whatever, you know, but, yeah, you got a deeper understanding of yourself is what I'm getting. You could have figured out some type of duality, too, as well as what I'm getting, something about, uh, something about without light, there's darkness. So, yeah, you could have went, made, you know, um, made a decision to go towards the light or you just got lighter because you were in a dark place. I don't know. You know, like lost weight. But somebody's trying to like put out your light so you could be in the dark because without light, there's darkness. And I'm getting like the road, road to dawn. Road to dawn. Yeah, you're going if, like, when you know, like when it's coming towards dawn that's when the light comes so you could have took a long ass rope okay so by breaking down honey is what i'm getting yeah it wasn't easy but it was worth it you most definitely went on that road to light that's what it is you went on that road to light and then you're seeing things from a different perspective a higher perspective you're doing things differently you're taking care of yourself and somebody just didn't think that you were ever going to take care of yourself. So somebody paid somebody here to do some spare work. Something about 95. Oh, you could have met somebody in 95 or something happened in 95. I'm not sure. Somebody could have did a glamour spell on you in 95. And they've been doing it since 95. That's like 30 years. Like, what the hell? Secret is, I'm the hype. Y'all might got to hype me. I'm telling you, you ain't have to hype me back then. I still thought I was a shit. Hell, big and all. But anyway, yeah. I have an alcohol addiction. Somebody who could, somebody could be doing this have an alcohol addiction or just addicted to your energy, your essence, because you know, like I said, you you still 
are confident within yourself, you know, whatever size you are. You're, you're just comfortable in your skin. Yeah, somebody was making plans to do something. Somebody is lying to get someone to cooperate. Secretly don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck that they doing this spell work on you. Look, secretly wish we could go back in time. I'm telling you they wish they could go back in time to when... Um, I guess when you were in a lower vibration... Uh, yeah, you banished this person for, for good. I'm getting like, whatever spell work they did on you, it was it's banished for, for good. Yeah, somebody was harassing and insulting you. I'm telling you, talking like you ain't shit because you banished them for good or they're about to get banished for good. Shit, somebody is, um, somebody could have insomnia because they're worried about somebody letting them go or they're getting fired or they're getting dismissed or they're getting replaced, you hear me? And they can't sleep, so their resolution is to do spell work. Hold on, <laughs> like, what? Yeah, secret is something went terribly wrong. Yeah, somebody was wearing a mask here. Because they don't have that confidence. So somebody is wearing a mask, he or she don't have a real... I mean, so they don't have to reveal their real selves? Yeah, because they've been stealing your energy, your essence since like 95. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Somebody's losing their license here. They're watching you. Someone lost a lot of money because you won and they can't pay up. Wow. Yeah, somebody wants you to be single and satisfied. They don't want you to get this love that's coming towards you. It's partnership. A rep, whatever. Somebody trying to get you stuck in a karmic cycle. That was in reverse. This could even be your sister or somebody you call sister that wants to be the queen, honey. Just spying to see if the love spell is working. Hey, can't make this shit up. Trying to mislead somebody. Yeah, but guess what? You surrender to the divine. You hear me? It's all about your connection or your union with the divine and your, your energy is bringing in a lot of love. Um... Mm -hmm. Somebody just, this is what somebody needs to do. Most definitely is surrender. And you surrender to the universe and the highest, for your highest good. And you trusted the journey. Like I said, something about the road to dawn. Yeah. Somebody got a secret bank account. I'm telling you. Yeah, to get some damn spell work done. Shit, they could have been doing spells on, spells on you, your children. Your cousin, your sister, I'm telling you, whatever. And they watching to see if the spell is still working. It's got to be somebody that's close to you to be, have doing spell work on you since, like, 95. Somebody could be born between 75 and 95. Take it how it resonates. Um... Uh, I don't know, somebody needs to hear that you're not being punished. You're being guided to surrender. So let go and let God. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. Or that's what you did. Take it how it resonated. Somebody, they just need to surrender. And quit trying to take your energy and your essence and be true to themselves and be authentically themselves. Because who the hell got that much time and energy to invest in somebody else? So it could be your cousin, your sister, a friend, a brother. Yeah, you got protection collected. They know how protected you are now because you are close to God. You surrender. You on your right path. Mm -hmm. Spirit is protecting you. You hear me? They're protecting you. From any strongholds, blockages, or whatever. Somebody trying to do not magic, pen magic. I don't know, poking pins and shit. But you learn how to protect yourself. Most definitely. You surrendered. Yeah. You got summer. I know what you did last summer type of energy. So somebody did something last summer. It could have been in... Cancer season, Leo season, a Virgo season is what I'm getting. 
Yeah, that's somebody. So somebody could have did something last summer. Yeah. Some mirror work. Scrying to see if that shit worked in the shadows. Yeah, because I just seen it. Yeah. Somebody did some type of pinnacle. I mean, uh, do some type of sigils or whatever, lighting up candles. Somebody did a whole little ceremony, honey, but somebody got to put some respect on this union. It's coming in anyway for this divine feminine here because you are protected. Your union is protected. Somebody's trying to bind themselves to your energy. Yeah. We got balance and protection. Somebody trying to bring you out of the light and put you back in the dark. Yeah, but you are protected. Somebody going through the dark night of the soul. Yeah, whatever you're working on is protected. Uh, somebody, somebody could be getting like their sacral chakra cleansed. It's protected. Somebody trying to attach themselves to your sacral chakra. Somebody could be trying to do sex magic too as well. Like what? I don't know. If you have sex with somebody, you need to use protection too as well. Whatever you are um, birthing, it's protected. Because this could even be a union. Take it how it resonates. Um, yeah, somebody had sex with somebody. Somebody been trying to protect you from this person. Because if they know this person been attacking you. Or somebody that somebody has a sexual relationship with. They're trying to protect you from this person. Because they know this person is spying, lurking in the shadows. Yeah, you're protected from any like um energy or essence that they are trying to steal. Somebody's using the um an Amsinian mirror or some shit. Some type of mirror to mirror you, your your energy, your essence. Yeah, hey, we got boundaries here though. That's the truth. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, it's somebody. That's the secret. Somebody is trying to. Somebody doing some blood magic, or this is a blood. Your blood doing magic on you. Somebody done cut themselves. They in a book of secrets trying to figure some shit out. How to break your security. Yeah, look, man. Somebody trying to hex you. Banish. Trying to banish your security. Because they know you are protected. So they doing all this shit, man. It's <laughs> like, what? Who got that much time on their hands? Time on my hands. Since you've been away, boy. <laughs> Damn. Too much time. Wow. Somebody got cut off, so they had to start doing magic. They got in that book of shadows. Who, honey? Start trying to do all kind of rituals. What's going on? Ooh. Yeah. Because in the springtime, this divine masculine trying to come in to union with you. So somebody doing these rituals to try to free somebody's rebirth here. They conjuring up spirits and everything, man. So somebody did a ritual around on Christmas. Because you could have went through some type of initiation. I don't know. Yeah, but we got protection. On the bottom, you're protected from some type of ritual. Somebody's doing containment spells and shit. In, in the dog. For prosperity and shit. Yeah, your prosperity is protected, though. We got a feminine here. Feminine prosperity. I mean, yeah, like you got the crown. 
Somebody is envious of that. Yeah, because you balance some shit out. Foundation, homeland. I'm telling you, somebody traveled or sent some shit up the way or something. You hear me? But you alchemized whatever this high priestess energy did to you. I'm telling you, you ground that shit out. Virgo. I told you, somebody in Virgo season, something was cleansed away. You grounded some shit out. You cleansed that energy. We got cycles in reverse. Intensification. Somebody tried to intensify some type of moon magic to ship something. And I'm getting like, that shit went in reverse. They was trying to attract your unions, your... Your, uh, even if like whatever you do for work they were trying to attract something to them they didn't want you to get it yeah something's not um, in the dark you you seeing things bringing things to the light yeah it's the ending of somebody getting guidance because somebody need to surrender somebody's trying to do death spells they were guided here by a tarot reader or something like that or they're trying to end a tear reader. Somebody did some death, divination. Mm-hmm, collective. Like I said, somebody want you to be destroyed completely and they got some type of guidance. Because somebody knows that you're having a rebirth. You had a rebirth around Christmas. We got um, cleanse, cloak, ancestors, remembrance. Yeah, you did some type of cleansing ritual here and you cloaked yourself because you remembered who the hell you are. You hear me? Your ancestors guided you to do this cloak so you could cleanse away whatever this ritual, this magic, this containment spell, these love spells, whatever. You got your power back. You hear me? Yeah. Because of your dedication. And you have some type of responsibility here on earth. You hear me? Why is it familiar you sticking up out of there? Yeah, you ignited that passion. What? What's the familiar? I'm getting bad set. Bad set, shake me. That could be protecting you. Yeah, you got that power. That's that shikmic energy. Yeah, you get your wishes fulfilled. Your cups are overflowing. You uh learn how to sit in your power and balance out your emotions too as well. Yeah, whatever somebody sent to your foundation, that shit was alchemized. Yeah, and like I said, your familiar is working with you to stabilize, stabilize some intention somebody sent towards you, towards your home, your, your vessel, or whatever they did, honey. Ain't doing too much. Like, wait, I, I just don't understand people. It ain't that much jealousy or envy in the world. It ain't that much get back. Like, I don't, somebody to let it go and give it to God, whatever it is. Let it go and give it to God. Because you're not doing that because of bad health, bad karma. Yeah, I mean, look what came out. That voodoo, it, it's being transmitted to the spiritual realm. You hear me? Spirit stepping in to calm this chaos. Wow, because it's time for you to have a treat. You hear me? Somebody wants you to overeat, though. They most definitely do. <laughs> it's time for you to have a treat, collective. Angel of alchemy, it's a miracle here. Somebody, yeah, these little witches, the power of three. This could be like a sisterhood. This don't have to be your sister. They could be like a sisterhood. And your family could be in this um, group, this cult, the secret society, whatever it is. Yeah. These witches thought they were going to have some type of guidance here to throw you off balance. But you had a path for personal growth. Yeah. It's an important end for a new beginning for you. All that shit is over. Like, and they just still trying to keep it going. 
That photo is, is it's over. 22 again. 22. 22. Yeah, it's a tempting offer for a high price, though. Mm-hmm. Somebody does they sell for a little shallow grave, or they try to put you in a little, little grave, honey. They done did that death spell. Yeah, they done set that little spirit, that little ghost to haunt you, or just like the spirit of, yeah, look, death, endings, or uh, the spirit of overindulging, you know, the spirit of, like, feeling lackluster, feeling like you're average, regular, you ain't shit, you know. Yeah, but from death comes rebirth, honey. You going through a rebirth. You ended that old way of being, that old way of thinking. And you went through a rebirth, a transformation here. You got sweet memories. Yeah, somebody, oh, um, yeah, the past returns for a time. The ghost from the past was trying to mess with your, your, your mind. Give you those old memories of being that old person. That's not even you anymore. Yeah, you're seeing things from a different perspective. You're seeing things from a higher perspective. And you are wing seers. You're seeing things clearly now. That voodoo, that spells, that shit is gone. It's over. It's an important end for a new beginning. The time ran out. Yeah, somebody got that time on their hands. Since you, your essence went away, you hear me? Yeah, they're feeling that. So they try to redo some shit. And your energy, you don't raise your vibration. Your energy is not even the same. Like, they can't even act like you. <laughs> I don't know, but they tried. I tried to do some dark shit to sacrifice you to make you go through endings and shit. Who did this? A Leo, a Libra. Did some more magic. Try to change the shift some shit. Yeah, we got a Virgo. They wanted somebody to be in stagnant, like I said, in Virgo season or some shit. Like in August or in the summertime. Yeah, Pisces, a hidden enemy here. It's been exposed. Because they see you getting some type of victory and success. You getting your wishes fulfilled. They don't like that shit. Yeah, here in Aquarius season right now. Yeah, that's like the last six months ago, right? Oh. Uh, yeah, Virgo season starts in August, right? Six months to a year. I know what you did last summer. Yeah, in Leo season. But you done battle some shit out. Yeah, somebody was competing with somebody here, but your determination, somebody just wanted to win at all costs because somebody know you coming into union or somebody from your past want to come back to you or some shit. I don't know. And they don't want this person to come back to you. Yeah, they want you to rebel. They want this person to rebel. So they're trying to change and shift and switch up some shit. That shit is crazy. Yeah, here in Aquarius season, it could be an Aquarius too as well. That's uh, competing or just being aggressive, just doing things out of spite, being petty. So, take it out, resonate. We got Pisces, Leo, Libra, Virgo, Aquarius here. Yeah, if y'all hear my niece, I said my niece. So, somebody niece could be involved, but yeah. Oh, uh, y'all hear my grandbaby in the back snoring. She laughed. She's sleeping good. <laughs> but somebody need to purge. Y'all, y'all, I seen the forever purge. That was my first time seeing that. So I think it came, it said it came out like in 2021 or 2020. I don't know. One of those years. That could be significant. But that was my first time seeing that movie uh, the other day. And um, it's like some somebody wanted you to go through something like forever. Yeah, but I'm getting like somebody needs to purge, cleanse too as well. But it's like a lot of mayhem going on though. A lot. I don't know why I said the forever purge though. What did I say the forever purge for? Yeah, but I just seen that movie. That was my first time seeing that movie the other day. Forever purge. Yeah, somebody gotta respect your name. You hear me? For whatever they did in the summertime, honey. Respect you and your money, whatever pinnacle, the ace of pinnacle you got here. 
Something's coming in the summertime. Awakening to someone's intentions. Oh, so you, somebody who did something in the summertime, yeah, you've been awakened to their intentions they set. A Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here. Yeah, they were trying to play some type of illusion here with that air energy. Yeah, but that shit was returned to sender. They can't change something. They can't change this union that's coming towards someone, but they, they tried to end it. They most definitely did. They were dedicated, too. They got a little whole little altar. This high priest or high priestess here. Earth, Virgo, Tarps, Capricorn, Fire. Yeah, they were trying to plant some type of seed here because somebody know that somebody's passionate about somebody. I'm telling you, they did some type of herbal magic or some shit. What I say, baneful herbs? They've been using baneful herbs to like destroy or poison a union or somebody could have used some type of herbs to poison somebody. So y'all be aware of what y'all eating, honey. And like I said, somebody wants you to, you could be poisoning yourself because, well, you could have used to been poisoning yourself. Like I said, I was overeating. I was big as shit. I didn't even know it was that big. I was like 260 something, I think. And that was big as shit. And I wasn't pregnant now. I, you know, I ain't got nothing against nobody that's big. I love my big girls. I think everybody is beautiful. No matter your size, race, creed, whatever. You know, I don't discriminate. Men, women, children, I, you know, hey, animals, earth, hey, plants. I think everything is beautiful. Like I said. But now I'm seeing things in a different perspective, though. Yeah. Yeah, somebody needs to surrender, honey. Somebody's getting karma most definitely for what they did. Because God is watching them. God sees all. Whoever your God is. This is somebody that's religious too as well. Or they uh, are very spiritual or something. I don't know. But whatever you believe in, baby, you need to reassess and reevaluate. Because nothing of the light is going to tell you to do no dark ass shit like that. That's what I got for you guys. Yeah, and we heal. We don't kill or be okay. Yeah, that's what I got for you guys. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to love you to life.